We have been working for so long now to integrate robotic camera control into the Unisketch universe of device cores you can install on Skyhoy controllers. And now finally we can present the new PTC Pro controller. And here it's hooked up with the Lumens robotic camera, a fantastic camera with Visca over IP control. So um, what makes our controllers so great? Well, I would like to suggest two things. First of all, it really knows the camera. So for this Lumens camera, we have taken the time to go through the command list and make sure that all the value ranges that you can um, set for iris and shutter speed and gain and, and every feature the camera has will be available in Unisketch on a controller like the PTC Pro. So that's unique in itself when you're looking at a third party controller that it actually knows the camera. It's custom made for that camera. And that's a great feature. So secondly, we also have an innovative way of managing multiple cameras. So actually you can, if you had multiple Lumens cameras on your set, you can address multiple cameras at the same time. So imagine that you have the camera selector at you and you um, uh, select three cameras. You can send the same iris setting, the same shutter speed to those cameras uh, from the controller. And then you can go back and just work with one of them with the PTC joystick and so forth. And that's a unique feature as well. And we also think that we have a great price tag on these controllers. In fact, we have set out to create two versions. We have a full edition and full edition means that you get a Skyhawk controller with full access to the whole universe of device cores. So if you change to a different camera make or if you want to mix in some uh, routing control or start stop streaming or uh, ATEM switch or GPIO and so forth, you can do that in the full version. But we also think a lot of people, they just want a PTC Pro controller with a particular camera. So the limited edition will save you some buck, but it will give you functionality that you need here now. And of course, there will be an upgrade path between the two. And the great thing is that you can get this today. So if you look in the description of this video, you'll find a link to our website where you can go and order your PTC Pro controller right now for two world uh, two day delivery worldwide. Uh, we live in Denmark, but we can access any corner of this planet in two days with the courier service. So that's really convenient. All right. So now let's take a look at the setup I have right here um, and uh, what we can do. So if we look at the setup, we have the PTC Pro right here. I'll zoom in on the controller in a moment so you can get a really close up of all the features. We have it connected with Ethernet to the Lumens camera, which also has an Ethernet cable. This is actually PO powered. It can be PO powered. Uh, we also have a power supply because our PO switch doesn't have enough juice for this camera to work its PTC operation, uh, but it's capable of doing that. And then we have a video uh, link over to a recording system so I can show you um, the output from the camera. We have, uh, did I mention 12 volt power supply? That's just basic. It's on all, all Skyhawk controllers uh, and uh, of course a USB cable. So um, that's the basic configuration. All Skyhawk controllers are IP devices. IP is the thing, okay? And the Lumens camera is so awesome because it has Visca control over IP. So it's really made for the future. And uh, it's, it's something great to be said about this camera. Uh, that it does this. So we have direct access, no serial stuff and uh, all the traditional Visca um, um, luggage that you would otherwise have to deal with. Um, so that's one thing I love about this camera. Now, um, let's take a look at the controller. And in this video, I will uh, mainly address how we can adjust all these settings. I was so enthusiastic about showing you that that we can uh, we, we know all the settings of the camera. But before that, I'll just quickly show you that we actually do have PTC control so I can adjust the camera in all kinds of directions, you see. And uh, I think I'll just point it to myself in this uh, self-consumed culture. We want to, yeah, so now we, sh we have something, some picture here to work with. So that's the pencil zoom for the joystick. We will have another video about that. We'll also have another video about presets. But of course, you can recall presets with the camera. So for instance, right, that's one preset. And here we have another one. And now I need to adjust the camera again. All right. But uh, and then zoom out a little bit. And there we go. All right. 
So uh, I think I'm more or less ready now. Let's go back and look at the controller in a close up. So this is how it looks. And uh, down here we have a camera selector. This is how it's configured right now. So um, you, you can select the camera. You see now we have camera one online, so it will light up uh, green because the camera is found. When I go to camera two, nothing happens. These light goes out. You see nothing in display because there is no camera two on the network at the moment. But obviously, if you head up to those seven cameras we support on this controller, um, we, we could actually add more because this is assigned to be a shift key out here. Then um, you uh, would see those light up as well. All right, so cameras online. Then we have a menu section right here, and then we have presets over here. So as I showed just before, when I press any of these buttons, the, pr the preset will be recalled on the camera. But that's a separate video because we have um, a awesome preset selector that will make use of the displays. So in case you rather like to have the displays tell you what the preset is named, you can have that. And that's quite exciting, but it's for another video. So the menu section is this one. You see, we have uh, basic categories like exposure mode, white balance, color, image, and then for user section. So when I, uh, I'm in exposure mode right now, and it means that I see which exposure mode the camera is in. It's obviously in auto mode. So Irish, shutter speed, and gain are now blanked out. But I can change the exposure mode to manual. This is found in almost every Visca camera. And now you should notice that as I turn this knob, you see uh, I'm adjusting the iris. I can also adjust the shutter speed of the camera. And notice you see the values in the display. This is not for fun. These values are actually taken from the camera back into the controller. So even if I took the, let's say I had the remote control for the camera and let's just try that. So you can see how this is uh, actually working. So I go into the exposure. And then I would go to, uh, let's take manual iris. And then I adjust the iris value. You see the display. Display changes as I change the value on the camera. See, that is the kind of two-way control you really want. And that's one of the virtues of our controllers that we insist on having a two-way um, data exchange with the devices we control so that you know these values are are not just uh, imaginary, they are actually the ones found in the camera. So you can, you can assume that, that in most cases, um, as far as possible, this is how we go about implementation. Now, um, if I press again on this button, you see that I get to uh, some secondary options for exposure mode, and these will depend. And now when I press it again, you even get more secondary options, and then I'm now back to the uh, original one. So since I'm in manual mode, some of these are blanked out. But when I go back to manual mode, and uh, let's say I change it to uh, auto mode, you'll see that now exposure compensation is available. So I can turn on an exposure compensation, meaning that for the automatic uh, exposure mode, I can bump it up or take it down, I can adjust backlight on or off uh, if I want, and so forth. So Again, one of my main points here is that we really know the cameras we are working with and we have taken um, great efforts to really customize the implementations on our third-party controllers to the particular function set you find on a given Visca camera. So let's get back to, to the menu. We have white balance as well. So as you can see, white balance mode, one push. So if I go to one push, which I'm just finding here, then I can trigger and one push, white balance my camera when I hold it down. Um, if I have, um, what is that? I think manual mode, then we have access to RG and B gain so I can do manual white balancing and so forth. These are all features found in the camera. I can go to color mode there. We have brightness, contrast, saturation, skin tone. We have on the image menu, sharpness, noise reduction, 3D noise reduction, picture effect on off. So picture effect would be like negative and black, white and such things. See some of these, if I press it repeatedly, I don't see a second list of options. And that's because there are none in this case. Uh, while if I went to the white balance mode, uh, well, no, not in the white balance mode, but in exposure mode, you have those uh, three levels of options for exposure mode. So this really depends on the camera you're working with because some of the Sony robotic cameras, they have huge amounts of options, uh, which are really cool when you're professional, 
while uh, if you go with a lumens camera like this one, you are more limited in, in uh, what you want to do and what you can do. Um, so you have enough in just these eight categories. So here we have gamma mode, we have power on off, some, some uh, binary options, and uh, we have uh, image flip, reverse, freeze, mute, focus mode, so you can change auto or manual focus, and we have a focus button right here for that kind of thing. Okay, so that was the PTC Pro controller for the Lumens camera. And the way this works is that you could also control other robotic cameras. So if you look at the configuration page for the camera, it looks like this. You simply get the camera delivered with the Lumens device core installed. And um, in the limited edition, this is then the configuration you have. You will have the configuration out of the box to work with the Lumens camera, and that's it. But if you had the full edition, you can add more functionality. And um, if you're a full edition user, you'll really enjoy how easy you could go and add a device. Like, let's say you wanted to also hook up with a, a uh, video router so that your camera selection would also route a source on a video router uh, simultaneously to bring it up on a preview monitor for the operator. That would be one clever way to use this. So you just add a device call and then you go back to the controller configuration. You will go down to the camera selector and then on the camera selector, in addition to selecting that camera, you would then configure it to make a route. Like let's say this would camera one would be input one and you want to route it to output number 38 on your ADA Kumo router. And then the camera selector button simultaneously gives you preview selection for your monitor. So that's, um, that's it. That's all I have to share with you right now. I want to come back later with a video about the presets and how awesome that can be done. Uh, and I'm so excited to hear your comments. And um, you can go to our shop online and, and get it ordered right away. And we'll be quick to deliver it. I think it's in stock. Of course, that's something that's difficult to promise in a video that might last for a year. But at least as of now, we should be able to ship it out.